Today I'll show you how to make a double cup pencil holder. To make this fold we're going to use 8.5 by 11 inch office paper. You could also use A4 office paper. To make this a little bit easier I've pre-printed the folds onto this piece of paper. Check out my website foldsomething.com to download a PDF with this pattern. We'll start by folding a crease along each line printed on this page. I flipped the paper over so that when we're done you won't actually see the lines on the pencil pot. Okay, you can see here that I've done all these long vertical lines and now I'm going to do these short horizontal lines. This is one fold where it really pays off to be as precise as possible, so take your time lining up all these creases. Before I go on to the next horizontal fold, I'm going to take this corner real quickly and fold it. This will save me some time a little bit later. We'll want to actually crease this both ways. Okay, so we've got the three horizontal lines in the middle done. Now we'll move on to the skinny horizontal lines at each end of the paper. If you don't want this printed line to show once you've finished the pencil pot, you'll have to make sure that you fold this crease just before the printed line. There, now we'll flip this over and do the same on the other end. Okay, next we're going to have to fold along these diagonal edges here. It's a little tricky because they're in the middle of the paper. I'll just show you what to do rather than try to explain it. And you might need to watch this part a couple times. Make sure you reverse each crease once you fold it. When you're making this crease in the middle of the page, try to use the creases you've already made to help line things up. Now don't forget to reverse these creases that we've made in the middle. Okay, now that we've pre-creased everything, you'll want to orient the paper so that this crease we've made here is pointing up. From this orientation we'll find the second horizontal line from the top and fold it back. From 
this open end here, you're going to need to pinch together and push in that triangle. That should make this triangle here much more pronounced. This next step is a little tricky, but I'll do my best explaining. You'll want to gather up the two top halves of the paper and pinch them in towards the middle. Then push forward and flatten things towards that triangle here. You'll need to reverse this crease here to make things lay flat. Okay, from here you can see how it's really starting to take shape. From the open end, we're going to reverse this slanted crease here. As you fold that slanted crease in, you'll see that this part of the paper forms the back wall of the pencil cup. You'll want to repeat this step on the other side. Now we're going to take these two pieces in the middle and pull them apart to lay them flat. From the shape you can see that we're pretty close to done. We just need to do a couple bindings to make sure this holds together. We're going to lift up this edge here and then slide the top piece underneath it. We'll do the exact same on the short end. And now we'll reverse the crease on this triangle tab here. And we're going to tuck it as tightly as possible into this pocket here. And there you go, your double cup pencil holder.